Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your Flying Weather Outlook for the week and weekend ahead brought to you exclusively by Flyer Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk and um, just first up, got a couple of places uh, still available on my Aviation Weather School Part 1 course which will take place on the Sunday mornings of the 6th and the 13th of December from 0930 to 12.30. So if you want to build your confidence in being able to forecast yourself and be able to spot those weather windows five days in advance, then get yourself along to Aviation Weather School. You can see the reviews at uh, weatherschool.co.uk and that's your place to book as well. But as I say, a couple of places left on it. So if you do want to come along, then I'd suggest that you get your place booked pretty quickly. That uh, date is coming around very quickly indeed. Now, um, this is how things shape then as we go through this week and into next week I think quite a, a mixed start to things it does become increasingly dry as higher pressure builds in some mist and fog patches to be found and turning murky later on as well now stay tuned to the end of the uh, forecast because right at the very end I've actually got the first chart for the 2nd of December so our first day out of lockdown out of lockdown we're starting to get an indication now as to what might go on so uh, I'll show you that in just a second now every Thursday or Friday I send out our free weekend flying forecast by email so this has been going on for many many years I mean over 20 years now and it's just a plain text forecast for flying for the weekend um, you, there's no spam your email addresses stay with us it is just a flying forecast for the weekend and uh, if you want to be added to the list and you can remove yourself at any time all you need to do is to send a blank email to aviationweather-subscribe at weatherweb.net we can add you onto that free list okay then this is how uh, this afternoon shapes up we've got this southwesterly flow affecting us through the course of this afternoon. We've got some fronts affecting Western Scotland and Western Ireland, bringing out breaks of rain here, generally non-VFR. Um, I think probably marginal for Eastern Scotland, quite breezy here, but for other areas, generally VFRable during the afternoon, although some low cloud and drizzle affecting the southwest, so non-VFRable here. If you're lucky enough to be able to fly through Tuesday, then actually Eastern areas do look um, OK through Tuesday, bit breezy across northeast England. I think gusts there could be 40, 45 miles an hour. But for other areas, it's looking OK. Base is 3,000 feet, tops at around 10,000 feet and well broken cloud. Always the risk of some drizzle affecting western and southern Wales as well as southwest England. So here, going into marginal conditions at times. A front coming through Scotland and Ireland. And this is going to be producing some rain. Bases on this around one to 2,000 feet tops around 12 to 15,000 feet and the risk here of some uh, rather heavy bursts of rain with some embedded cued nim. As we get in towards Wednesday low pressure is off towards the north on Wednesday got some uh, fronts just bringing some showery rain across northern parts of Scotland non-VFR here one or two showers affecting western Scotland northern and western Ireland so marginal here and the remnants of the cold front across south east England Notice that little wobble here that you see in the cold front. That means that that cold front is quite slow moving and um, it looks as if that's a process that's going to continue, I think, through the afternoon. So whenever you see a wobble on the front like that, it tends to mean that the front is going to slow down. So I think um, southeastern area is probably non vfrable one to 3,000 foot bases, five to 8,000 foot tops on that and just reduced visibility. Away from there, though, looks as if it should be mostly flyable, two to 3,000 feet and I think base is around eight to 10,000 feet. On to Thursday, Ridge of High Pressure built in on Thursday. Now, mist and fog, I think, could be a problem during the morning on Thursday. It lifts slowly. Where it does go, we're probably flyable to uh, non vfrable but it may linger in some areas through the day, so do bear that in mind that Thursday could be quite a steep, murky day. And actually, fog may remain a bit of a problem across England and Wales, through Friday, also into parts of Ireland, perhaps southern and eastern Scotland. The cold front coming into northwestern Scotland brings non vfrable conditions here without breaks of rain, but that serves to bringing some fresher weather from the west as the day progresses. On Saturday, still could be faced with some mist and fog across central and eastern areas through Saturday morning. I think more northern and western parts, they're probably going to be seeing some showers. So better conditions here, particularly behind the cold front, but ahead of it, I think still, we could find some fog and mist and murk across southern parts of Ireland. And then for Sunday, still fog, mist and murk affecting much of England and Wales, I think, through the course of the day on uh, Sunday. 
and generally non verifiable because of that. Further west, marginal conditions as fronts move in, bringing outbreaks of rain. But I think really from Thursday onwards, difficulty pinning down the detail on how widespread this fog is going to be. But it does look as if it could become quite murky at times. So do stay tuned to the forecast and we'll keep you updated throughout. And also keep an eye on our uh, Weather School Facebook and Instagram pages as well as the Twitter feed because that's where we uh, get our latest forecast out to you. Now, I did promise at the beginning that we take a look at the chart for the 2nd of December, our first day out of lockdown across many parts of the country. I know not everywhere, but this is it. Now, I know you probably look at this and say, oh, what on earth is that, Simon? Well, this is a chart of 500 millibars. It's about 18,000 feet in the uh, atmosphere. Now, that isn't important. What is important is that we use these charts to plan for further ahead and uh, actually we talk about these in part school to part two of our aviation weather school to get you predicting up to two weeks in advance so what we're looking for here is this is a chart for wednesday the second and what we have marked on here is what we call a trough out towards the west that's that u shape in the line that you see there if i can write trough there but we have a ridge out towards the east now this ridge tends to be or ridges tend to be associated with high pressure and uh, troughs with low pressure so the hints are <coughs> excuse me for the second we've got some rain coming into the west and the high pressure out towards the east suggests that conditions probably are initially okay off towards central and east areas but we tend to see deterioration coming in from the west however we've got another ridge that builds in here in the atlantic later on that may suggest that things get better as the week progresses. Uh, but of course, we will keep you updated throughout here at weatherweb.net. OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to go and check out weatherschool.co.uk. And if you've not been to Aviation Weather School yet, then this is your chance on the Sunday mornings of the 6th and 13th of December. It'd be great to see you there and we'll get you flying more as a result. Okay, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.